I don't know why I feel like crying right now. I never cry on the internet. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long. I have not spoken to the camera for a long time, but I'm so glad to be back and creating this video. And to be honest, I don't even know what I'm gonna be talking about. I just sat down and knew I needed to turn the camera on. Okay, just to start, I thought we would do a little life update whilst I styled my hair with you. I washed it last night, but I just put it in a bun, which explains this. It smells really good though. Um, okay, where do we start? I am single. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm an extremely emotional person. You just never see it on the internet because I, d I just don't like when people cry on the internet. Yes, so I am single as of one week ago. Uh, I was in a three-year relationship. You know, YouTube for me is a place where I can be kind of the most vulnerable out of all my platforms and I have such amazing followers. I love you all. And you're always here for me, even when I take big hiatuses and then come back. <laughs> Hopefully I'm back for good now, but it is really hard to juggle three platforms slash getting back into performing. It's just not, I just really like having privacy on my life and respect for the other person and the other person's family is very important to me. So don't expect to be getting like tea or anything. I just wanted to update you on the situation and I can share a little bit about how I'm feeling. For me, I, I, I am someone who's like all in with relationships and friendships and that's why i have a really small circle around me but like i am an all-in girly i have a small circle and when i love you i'm gonna like i'm gonna give you everything but sometimes it's to the point of my own detriment and i can forget about my own self and doing things that i love you know and I really felt myself doing that especially in the last year I almost quit performing which is the most insane thought to me in the world because I literally for my entire life all I ever wanted to do was perform the only place I ever felt happy or like myself or like incredible was on stage and I really sacrificed so much to get to an amazing point in my career when I'm where I am performing full time, which is a really, really hard thing to do. And it's, um, you have to really be kind of in the top of the top in Australia, cause it's a small industry and there's a lot of dancers. There's a lot of performers and I worked my way up and I gave everything. And you guys know that you've been following with me along my journey so long. So, um, yeah, to even kind of consider giving all of that up for, any other reason for any reason at all is really absurd now that I look back okay that was taking way too long so I just dunked my head under the sink because my um spray bottle is broken I stepped back and I had immense support from my family and we're all very deep thinkers for me to really break through those thoughts and fears and a lot of insecurities and be able to pull myself away from something that wasn't serving me was really hard but as I said immense support for my family and immense trust even when it's hard in God's plan for me and to really surrender yourself into God's hands is really hard to do and I don't think I've mastered it at all but it's something I'm striving towards and this was a really good step for me a lot of maturing has happened I got in the relationship when I was 20 and I'm now 23 um, and that's a lot of life like that's a lot of change and like really um, important years of growth and learning and literally your frontal lobe is oh my mom's calling me hey hey mama hello hello mom yeah there was just a lot of really like important growth for me in that time of in this time of my life in almost three years with someone um and and no matter how hard you try to hold on sometimes it's okay to realize when god is calling you down a different path even though it's really really hard so yeah in saying all this i've definitely entered a new era i'm single in my 20s 23 and i think it's a grace that god has given me this time to be single and to develop myself into the woman that he wants me to be that he intends for me to be god truly values every single human life so i feel like right now i'm i'm really given the chance to pursue and chase the things that make me happy and you know bring myself back to those things those things that jamie loved growing up and jamie dreamt of and 
um, I'm just really excited to do that so I have been working really hard to push back into the performing world um, lucky I didn't take too far of a step away for too long so I still have amazing connections and amazing support team in the performing world to help me do that and I have like three auditions coming up for musicals next year fingers crossed for at least one of them I feel like my hair is not wet enough right now, but that's fine. OG. My hair has been in a slick back bun for almost two weeks, so I don't know how it's going to look today. I have not had the mental capacity to style and bother with my hair. And a little bit of gel in just for extra good luck. Okay. So I'm just going to chat. Whilst I do like a guess a little bit of an air dry situation for the curls. I will say though, in my time away from YouTube, my curl texture has gotten a lot better. I've been using the right type of products in the shower, a lot of bond repairing, um, the right type of protein, and not over moisturizing my hair, which my hair really does not like. It doesn't need to be over moisturized because it's overly healthy. So yeah, for me right now, I have a really big focus on spending quality time with my family working hard towards pushing back into the performing world, doing dance gigs, singing gigs. I've been singing a lot of wedding Maronite ceremonies, which has been so beautiful. Um, running the choir at my parish, my local parish. Yeah, just getting back out there and doing those things that I love to do. I have been swamped though. I will say when it rains in pause, like going through a breakup, having multiple auditions, multiple jobs due, multiple events. It's absolutely hectic right now I'm also going away actually i don't think i can say that yet but that's fine you'll find out soon what that's all about and yeah this is a new era guys this is um a new time for me i'm 23 i started youtube when i was 18 that's insane and you have seen me go through so much and grow up so much and it's a really beautiful thing for me one day to be able to look back on you know my life through these vlogs and videos and just like how much I've grown up is really 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 cool to see and I'm really proud of myself for this time and for choosing me first and um, I'm really open to whatever God puts before me in my path and yeah I've learned so much I've learned so much if you want to follow along with my performing I've got some cool stuff coming up I will leave the link in my bio it's my instagram page is called off stage by jamie joe it's really not fully dry because i can't be bothered waiting to finish the video but my hair's so long i want to keep growing it i want it to be very long i mean i really rushed the drying process so it's a little bit frizzy but still looking good i love you all thank you for watching and i can't wait to chat in the comments please talk to me you're all amazing and your constant support has always meant everything to me. So I will do my very best to be more consistent with videos, even if it's just vlogs, mini updates, whatever it is.